Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about data handling and analysis in PySpark. I'll be more focusing on data cleaning and pre-processing and how we can handle missing or null values. So I'll be taking uh, a very very commonly uh, available data set which is Titanic. Uh, on this data set, I'll be showing you some of the very big common operations that we can perform for the data analysis. All right, and how we can uh, uh, make use of uh, basic operations right and how we can uh, handle the missing data right this is all about so let's start first of all uh, we have to import some packages right uh, let's first import that so we require one package which is from pyspark.sql import functions because we're going to use some uh, inbuilt functions so i'll be using one alias also so alias is a Let's load data set first. Uh, as I've already told you, I'm going to use the uh, very commonly available data set, which is called Titanic. So I'll be using that. I'll be, uh, if you're, uh, you can easily find it on Kaggle or some other sources. If not, then I'll be also putting up the link in my description. Okay. So let's load it. Spark.read.option. Okay. And then uh, we can specify a header because we want the first row as my uh, column name. It's true. Okay, then we can uh, use dot option infer schema because I want my uh, that uh, it should be automatically inferring the uh, data types. So I'm going with the option infer schema, infer schema. Okay, infer schema, then it's also true. It's also true. Okay, now we're gonna uh, use dot csv and let's give the data set it's available on my d drive uh, with the name titanic okay titanic dot csv titanic dot csv all right that's it press enter let's see what kind of data set we are having and we're gonna perform some operation on top of it okay so it's loading right now and how we can check it out you know that we can check with the help of show option I'm going to show, let's suppose, first three rows. Okay. So we can also check out with the print schema. Okay. So we're having this much. These are the data. Uh, these are the column names. So passenger ID, survived, P class, name, sex, age, SIB, SP. Uh, these are the uh, some column names available. All right. Now let's do the first thing. Let's try to check the missing values in uh, important columns. So we're gonna check uh, that how many, uh, how, uh, how in how many columns or in, in, in one of the column, what are, what's the count of missing values, okay? In which there's nothing is available. So I'm gonna use is null function for that, okay? Uh, as I've already, uh, you must have seen that I've used alias a, so I'm using alias a, okay? It'll be, uh, it's kind of a shortcut method, okay? So let let me first write then i'll be explaining what i'm doing i'm going to now count the missing values in columns which is age cabin and bar you can check in all in any of the column as your wish okay dot when a dot column is age okay is null function and uh, we can specify one and we can also give alias okay we can also give alias as missing age you can give any alias here okay missing age in the same way we can also check here you can also repeat the same okay for the other column so what i'm doing is instead of typing it again and again i can simply uh, copy let me also write because i want to print so i'm gonna write df dot select okay df dot select now after this i can simply copy this whole content and repeat for my next column okay comma let paste now in this case the column is cabin column is 
cabin and I can also change the alias as missing cabin and one more one more we can try okay here uh, it will be uh, the column embarked okay embarked column and uh, rest everything is same and I can also write here embarked all right dot show okay let me now explain what I have done okay uh, what's the interpretation uh, in the missing in the in the age column there is one one seven seven uh, values are missing in the cabin column 687 uh, values are missing and in bar 2 uh, values are missing so what it means okay let me explain it uh, step by step first of all uh, as I mentioned a dot call age meaning is it will be creating a column reference to age column is null meaning is is null is a condition that is true when value in that row is missing means null here in the, I'm using a dot when a dot when meaning is condition comma one condition comma one means if condition is true output is one okay otherwise output null because no otherwise is provided in my case so what its complete meaning is if I'm saying this complete what it means it means it produces a column that has one for rows where age is missing and null where age is present okay so now because we are using count it show it counts how many non null values are in in its argument since when uh, this returns one for missing and null for others so actually it is effectively counting how many missing values are there and this is just we are giving the readable name okay so the whole concept or whole meaning of this query is we are now giving the actual count in uh, these three columns that how many missing values are there okay that's it it's also a, 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 a pre-processing step that you can uh, do in your data sets next now we can also uh, try to uh, fill the missing age with the average age another very commonly used operation whenever uh, something is missing we can just re replace with the or fill with the uh, average age okay let's do it that as well then I'll, I'll be explaining uh, the query that what I have done again I'm gonna select df dot select I'm gonna select with the alias a dot average column we have to do the average on the average column avg meaning is it's the average okay function age is a column name okay now afterwards we are gonna use first to and then zero okay what it means let me explain that as well okay in this case what we are doing uh, we are uh, because in this case uh, we're just uh, selecting we're just doing the average okay uh, we're just getting the average of that age column first meaning is it is picking up the first value and zero symbolizes okay let me show you one thing here if I'm not using uh, zero as index number what did happen okay it's showing a row of average of age okay but I just want to print the no number okay that's a reason we are doing this okay now if I run this again and if I print the thing again you can see only the value is coming so this is the significance of having zero the square brackets we have written right so in this case we got the average now we have to now fill uh, the age with the average age how we can do it with the help of df dot fill na df equal to df dot fill na okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do we can simply write let's suppose average age okay average age that we got from in a previous step all right this is how we can fill the missing age with the average age right now this value will be will be there in all the uh, in all the areas when we are we are having a missing age all right let me show you df dot select 
age column dot show now here you will see there is no missing thing available okay you can see uh, now we are getting this 29.699 it means here it was missing value earlier but it has been replaced with the 29.699 right so this is done right moving further uh, we can also fill the uh, missing uh, embarked with the most common value okay it's a column embarked now we're gonna uh, fill the missing embarked with the most common value let's do it uh, i'm gonna use any um, variable name maybe va or something equal to df dot group by let me write the query then i explain what i am doing embarked as a column name e m b a r k d embarked okay dot count aggregate function count dot order by for sorting okay uh, now i'm using a as a alias name descending order of what count dot first and then i'm gonna fetch the value of embarked okay what it means okay let me explain that as well first of all what we are doing we are just uh, grouping the similar uh, entries of embarked the column we are fetching the count against it that uh, because uh, here uh, how many uh, accounts is available of that similar uh, similar entries afterwards we are we are doing the sorting okay we are sorting with the order by order by sorts the group by their count in descending order so the most frequent embarked value comes first and first meaning is it will uh, grab the top row from that sorted result the group with the uh, highest count okay the most common board common common boarding port and so without what is embarked meaning here is embarked extract the actual embarked value from that row right so because our purpose was to fill the missing embarked with the most common value it's like a finding mode right most commonly uh, uh, available value so let's do it df equal to df same method fill na fill na and here uh, we can specify embarked and var okay yeah that's it right again we can simply print to check if it's there or not embarked in this case maybe uh, i guess the uh, its actual value i guess which is got extracted is s so maybe you will find s in all the missing entries okay although s is also there but you in the wherever we have missing entries it will be replaced with the s because it's the most frequently uh, available value in that column right and last point we can also fill the missing cabin with unknown you can also do this last thing df equal to df dot fill na uh, we have a cabin available na huh? cabin carbon column available in cabin we can replace with the let's suppose something it's up to you whatever you can specify okay unknown that's it now let's print the last results okay what changes we have done let's print it i'm printing the top 10 rows so oh, what we can do is because in this case you can see unknown is available right uh i guess there's no missing value available because it has been replaced you can see 29 point this one has been there unknown is there right so this is all about the uh, today's video in which we have talked about uh, how we can make use of uh, basic operations right and uh, regarding the data cleaning and pre processing and how we can uh, handle the missing or null values right so see you next video thanks for watching guys